Welcome everyone to Stoic Mind Mastery. Today we embark on a journey not through bustling city streets or verdant landscapes, but within. Today we seek not riches or fleeting pleasures, but an inner strength, an unshakable resilience that times storms cannot erode. Today we forge ourselves into individuals of untamed purpose through the lens of ancient Stoic habits. Imagine, if you will, a world spinning ever faster, a whirlwind of anxieties and ambitions swirling about us. We chase fleeting successes, fret over fickle fortunes, and grapple with the shadows of fear and doubt. In this frenzy, exhaustion lingers, success feels distant, and our inner peace seems a forgotten dream. Yet across the chasms of time, whispers of wisdom echo from the Stoics, those ancient philosophers who carved a path through life's storms. Their tools, forget in the fires of hardship, were not of steel or stone, but of habit, of mind, of spirit. And it is these very tools, seven in number, that I offer you today. Not as promises of instant riches or boundless fame, but as a compass to navigate the turbulent seas within and without. This journey is not solely for dusty philosophers or cloistered monks. It is for us, the modern warriors, navigating the complexities of the 21st century. It is for the entrepreneur facing uncertainty, the artist battling self-doubt, the parent seeking resilience, and the dreamer yearning for a life of purpose. So let us become disciples of the Stoics, not in blind imitation, but in thoughtful application. Each week, We'll delve into one of these seven powerful habits, dissecting its essence, exploring its practical applications, and equipping ourselves with tools to face the challenges and opportunities that life throws our way. This is not a quick fix, a magic bullet, or a path paved with empty promises. This is a deliberate, thoughtful exploration of self-mastery, an ongoing conversation with our own minds and spirits. It is a commitment to growth, to resilience, to becoming the unstoppable versions of ourselves. Are you ready to embark on this journey of self-discovery, to forge your inner strength and to step into your full potential? Then welcome to Stoic Mind Mastery. Let the transformation begin. Habit one, embrace the dichotomy of control. Imagine for a moment the reins of life clutched tightly in your hands, you pull and tug desperate to steer events according to your desires. Yet, like a mischievous serpent coiling around your heart, the illusion of control slithers and deceives. We yearn to bend fortune to our will, to dictate the winds of circumstance, to mold the fickle opinions of others. But the Stoics, those ancient voices echoing across time, whisper a truth as old as the stars. Some things dance within our circle of influence, a fertile garden, where we sow the seeds of thought, choice, and action. Here, we tend the blossoms of virtue, nurture the saplings of right action, and cultivate the unwavering will that defines our character. Beyond this garden, however, vast and swirling forces waltz in a cosmic theater beyond our reach. Fate, with its veiled intentions, fortune's capricious turns, and the ever-shifting sands of public opinion. These are not ours to command. To fixate on them, to chase their shadows in the moonlight, is to court madness, to waste precious energy on what cannot be tamed. Instead, let us shift our gaze inward. Turn your attention to the fertile soil within your grasp, the garden where your true power lies. Here you can cultivate an unshakable serenity, independent of external turmoil. Accept what lies beyond your reach. Let the winds of circumstance carry what they will and focus your energy on mastering your response to it. Remember, the essence of an unstoppable spirit lies not in shaping the world, but in cultivating the unwavering strength to navigate its currents. This, this is the first step towards becoming unmoved, unfazed, unstoppable. Habit two, befriend the present moment. The present moment. A fleeting breath between yesterday's echoes and tomorrow's whispers. We often chase it like a butterfly, only to watch it flutter away as soon as we grasp it. Yet the Stoics offer a profound truth. The present moment is not a fleeting butterfly, but a fertile orchard brimming with life's richest fruits. Imagine, if you will, a symphony playing. 
Each note, each instrument, exists only in the now. The past notes have vanished, the future notes lie dormant and only the present note vibrates with life. To miss this note, to be lost in the echoes of the past or the anxieties of the future, is to deny yourself the symphony's true beauty. So, step off the wheel of your mind, dear listener. Release the reins of past regrets and future worries. This is not surrender, but a strategic shift. Instead of chasing shadows, turn your gaze to the sunlight playing on your skin, the laughter echoing in your ears, the comforting weight of breath in your lungs. These are the notes of your present symphony, each one waiting to be savored. Cultivate mindfulness like a skilled gardener tending to delicate seedlings. Practice awareness not as a chore, but as a dance with the present moment. Observe your thoughts and emotions with gentle curiosity, but do not get swept away by their current. Learn to quiet the cacophony of what-ifs and maybes, allowing the silence to amplify the whispers of the now. Remember, within this present moment lies the seed of every possibility. Every dream, every aspiration, every act of creation arises from this fertile ground. By befriending the present, you not only enrich your experience, but you also equip yourself with the power to shape the future. Embrace the stillness, savor the sounds, feel the sunlight on your skin. For in the present moment, not tomorrow, nor yesterday, but now, lies the true essence of life. Habit 3. See each trial as a teacher life. O oh life, a tapestry woven with threads not only of silk and gold, but also of thorns and thistles. We yearn for smooth sailing, for skies perpetually blue, but the winds of adversity inevitably rise, buffeting our vessels and testing our metal. It is in these storms, however, that the Stoics urge us to see, not shipwreck, but a hidden schoolhouse, where each trial whispers a vital lesson. Imagine, if you will, a young apprentice, eager to become a master blacksmith. He dreams of forging exquisite weapons, but his first attempts are clumsy, his hammer striking sparks rather than shaping steel. Yet, with each misstep, he learns the weight of the hammer, the feel of the metal, the importance of patience and precision. Each trial, each misshapen blade, becomes a stepping stone on his path to mastery. So too, dear listener, are the trials of life not punishments, but opportunities for growth. The sting of failure, the weight of loss, the frustration of setbacks. These are not boulders to crush us, but whetstones to sharpen our resilience. See each difficulty as a teacher, whispering wisdom in the form of challenges. Learn from your mistakes not with self-recrimination, but with a scientist's curiosity. Analyze, adapt, and rise stronger, for each scar etched on your soul is a testament to your journey, a badge of honor earned in the crucible of adversity. Remember the smoothest sea never birthed a skilled sailor. It is in the churning waters of challenge that we hone our skills, strengthen our resolve, and forge an unbreakable spirit. Embrace the trials, not with fear, but with the eager anticipation of a student eager to learn. For within each hardship lies the potential for profound growth, a chance to become the unstoppable version of yourself. Habit 4. Cultivate inner abundance, unmasking the illusion of external wealth. Ah, the seductive whispers of desire. They dance on the wind, promising endless satisfaction just beyond the next purchase, the next promotion, the next fleeting thrill. We chase these flickering mirages, slaves to the insatiable hunger for more, more, more. But the Stoics offer a profound counterpoint. True abundance lies not in the external glitter, but in the hidden depths of our hearts. Imagine, if you will, a bustling marketplace awash with opulent displays. Jewels sparkle, silks rustle, and sweetmeats tempt every sense. The world whispers, acquire, possess, conquer, fueling the insatiable fire of longing. Yet, the Stoics guide us through a secret doorway leading not to further frenzy, but to a serene garden blossoming within. Here, in the quiet of our own being, lies a wellspring of inner abundance, a reservoir of contentment and joy independent of external validation. This is not a fleeting feeling, 
but a deep-rooted richness cultivated through mindful awareness and a conscious shift in perspective. Instead of gazing enviously at the shimmering mirage of external wealth, we turn our attention inwards. We tend the fertile soil of gratitude, not for possessions or accolades, but for the simple, breathtaking gifts of existence. The sunrise painting the sky, the scent of rain on earth, the gentle touch of a loved one. These, dear listener, are the true treasures, the diamonds hidden in plain sight. Remember, happiness is not a destination on a distant map, but a dance with the present moment. It is not found in the acquisition of things, but in the quiet appreciation of what already exists. Cultivate contentment, not in the next shiny bauble, but in the act of giving, the warmth of a helping hand, the joy of leaving the world a little brighter than you found it. Let your inner abundance flow like a crystal clear stream, nourishing not only yourself, but also those around you. Share your skills, your time, your laughter. In giving, you not only enrich others, but you also deepen your own sense of connection and purpose. True wealth, the Stoics remind us, is not measured in the size of your bank account, but in the generosity of your spirit and the richness of a contented heart. So step back from the glittering marketplace of desire. Unmask the illusion of external fulfillment and turn your gaze inwards. Tend the garden of your heart. Cultivate the seeds of gratitude and generosity. For in the fertile soil of inner abundance lies the unstoppable truth. You already possess everything you need to live a life of joy, meaning, and true wealth. Habit 5. Speak and act with virtue, unmasking the hero. Within the air vibrates with whispers, our own and those of others. Words dance on our tongues, actions ripple outwards like pebbles in a pond. Yet the Stoics urge us to pause, to consider the weight of each utterance, each deed. For in every syllable spoken, every step taken, lies the potential to embody a hero's tale. Imagine, if you will, a grand stage bathed in the light of purpose. Upon it, a figure stands, not clad in shining armor, but in the quiet strength of virtue. Each word spoken rings with honesty, each action guided by kindness and justice. This, dear listener, is the hero the Stoics call us to be, not born of myth, but forged in the fires of mindful living. To speak and act with virtue is not to achieve sainthood, but to cultivate a compass within. It is to hold truth as your shield, not wielding it as a weapon. It is to offer compassion, even when met with anger. It is to choose justice, even when tempted by convenience. Remember, your character is not etched in stone, but sculpted by every choice you make. Let your words be a gentle breeze, carrying understanding and empathy. Let your actions be a steady hand, reaching out to help, to build, to mend. Do not seek outward validation, but strive for the quiet satisfaction of a life lived in accordance with your highest ideals. Remember, the true hero's journey is not one of slaying monsters, but of conquering the dragons within. It is about taming the ego's roar, silencing the whispers of envy and deceit. It is about choosing integrity over expediency, courage over fear, and forgiveness over resentment. In every interaction, in every decision, you have the power to write a chapter in the hero's tale. Speak with honesty, act with kindness, and stand firm in the face of temptation. For in choosing virtue, you not only forge an unstoppable spirit, but you also inspire others to do the same. Habit 6. Embrace Amor Fati, Love of Fate. We yearn for control, to steer the currents of life according to our desires. Yet, the vast ocean of circumstance often laughs at our plans, tossing us upon unforeseen shores. But the Stoics offer a profound anchor in this stormy sea, the practice of Amor Fati, the love of fate. Imagine, if you will, a majestic ship gliding across the waves, sails unfurled in the wind. The captain, though skilled, cannot dictate the destination, only navigate the ever-shifting currents. The Stoics urge us to be such captains, not fearing the waves but learning to dance with them. Amor Fati is not blind acceptance of hardship, nor a romanticized embrace of chaos. It is, instead, 
a conscious decision to see every event, every twist of fate, as a teacher, a sculptor of our character. It is the act of saying, even this, even this unforeseen turn can serve my purpose, can forge me into a better, stronger version of myself. For within every challenge lies a hidden opportunity. The missed promotion might lead to a new passion. The broken relationship might open doors to deeper self-discovery. The unexpected hurdle might reveal hidden reserves of resilience. To embrace Amar Fati is to see these possibilities, to trust that even the storms are carrying us towards a larger unseen harbor. Remember the river carves its path not by resisting the rocks but by learning to flow around them. So too must we navigate the currents of life. Do not fight the inevitable but bend with it, learn from it and use its force to propel you forward. Embrace the unexpected twists, the unforeseen turns. In every setback, see a teacher. In every loss, a lesson. For when you learn to love fate, not despite its challenges but because of them, you become truly unstoppable. The winds may carry you far from your initial course, but they will also guide you towards a destiny richer and more fulfilling than you could have ever imagined. Habit 7. Cultivate presence through memento mori. Remember you must die. Ah, the elephant in the room, the specter at the feast, death. We dance around it, whisper euphemisms, bury it beneath distractions. Yet the Stoics invite us to face this truth head on, not with fear, but with wisdom. For in confronting our mortality lies the key to truly living, a reminder to make every breath count. Imagine, if you will, an hourglass perched on the table, sand relentlessly trickling through its narrow throat. Each grain falling whispers a simple truth. Time is finite, precious, and ever escaping. The Stoics urge us to turn this hourglass over again and again, not to dwell on the inevitable end, but to reclaim the present moment as a priceless gift. Memento Mori, remember you must die, is not a morbid chant, but a life-affirming mantra. It reminds us that every sunrise is a miracle, every laugh a treasure, every connection a fleeting spark. It strips away the layers of distractions, anxieties, and petty concerns, revealing the stark beauty of existence itself. In the face of our own mortality, what truly matters? The glittering trophies of ambition fade, the whispered anxieties of the future lose their grip. Instead, we are drawn to the warmth of loved ones, the simple joys of existence, the pursuit of what is truly meaningful. Memento Mori becomes a lens that refocuses our priorities, aligning our actions with the values that resonate most deeply. So, let the sands of time fall, not as a countdown to oblivion, but as a call to action. Fill your cup with experiences, not possessions. Tend the garden of your relationships, not your bank account. Leave your mark on the world through kindness, not conquest. Embrace the present moment, for it is the only moment you truly possess. Remember, life is not a marathon to the finish line, but a dance under the open sky. Embrace the rhythm of your breath, savor the taste of sunshine on your skin, and feel the warmth of connection with those you love. For in embracing your mortality, you truly begin to live. We have ventured together through the stoic vaults of wisdom, unearthing seven potent tools to forge yourselves into unyielding spirits. These are not mere words etched in antiquity, but instruments honed for the gladiatorial arena of life. Remember, you are already an unstoppable force. The embers of greatness smolder within you, waiting for the bellows of your will. Draw inspiration from the Stoics, wield these timeless principles and stride into the world, ready to weather any storm with unwavering resolve and unyielding spirit. This is your time, your unyielding path, Begin now, become unstoppable, and let the world witness the true power that resides within.